In this video, I am explaining the important programs for generating various patterns. That may be a common in almost all the languages. So let us consider one of the pattern which I am going to show you. I just want to go for generating one pattern like 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5. These are the patterns. This is the values I want to print it. These are the values I want to print it. So, how to print this pattern? That is our pattern I want to print it. So, first, before going to generate this pattern, you must accept how many number of rows we are having. How many number of rows we are having? How many number of rows are there? 5 rows are there. You can give 6 rows also, 7 rows also, any number of rows you can give it and depends on it, we want to generate it. For generating this, I will use the concept of inner loops. Inner while loop you can use, inner for loop you can use, any looping strategy we can use. For in for we can use, while in while we can use, for in while we can use, while in for we can use. So I can write this program in four different ways. One other way I will show you here, very simple. So, n is equal to 5. So, I will write one for loop. For, for i in range of, range of n plus 1. That is 1 comma n plus 1 because I start with 1. 1 comma n plus 1. 1 plus n plus 1. So that means 1 to 6. When I say 1 to 6, it will give you 1 to 6 minus 1 values will be generated by the for loop. So when I write here print of i, it will give you 1 to 6, 5 will be coming. For each value of i, I want to generate a different rows I want to generate it. Here, 1 is printed. Next, what I want to print? Suppose if I write print of i, it will print only i value. That is 1 to 5 will be generated. But our interest is what? For that i value that you printed, for printing 1 to, I need to keep track of this one and I need to print the other kind of values. For that, I will write one more kind of for loop. I will write it. How to write that? For j in range of range of 1 comma i plus 1 1 comma i plus 1 that is i is called what here i value i will keep track of it i is called 1 in this case j in range of 1 comma n plus 1 what is the value of j here now 1 to 1 plus 1 is called 2. That means 1 is coming. That is this I want to print it. How do you print it here? Print of, I will write it, print of j comma n is equal to some space I am writing it. j comma some space. Why the space is required? For giving between 1 and 2 I want to give it. It is printed. And for loop is going back. This is called inner for loop. This is outer for loop. What is the value of j? Is going to be 2. So, it is going to become false. False means it is coming out. So, I have to bring the cursor down to new line. So, I will write parallel to inner for loop. I like this. I will write it. From here, it is going to where? Outer for loop it is going. So, what is the value of i? it is called 2 and j value is coming j to j in range of 1 comma 2 plus 1 it is 3 that is 1 to 3 it is going to take so j value right now 1 print of j 1 is printed followed by some space 
it is going to inner for loop. What is the value of j now? 1, 2, 3 means it will be 2 now. It is the next value called 2. j printed, that is a 2 is printed. End with a space. Again going to the inner for loop. What is the value of j in this? 3, that means 3 means stopping your ending range of start comma stop. It is ending. Inner for loop is becoming false. So, it is taking the cursor to the new line and then it is going back to what? Outer for loop. I value is called what? 3. That indicate row. Third row it came. Then J in range of what? 1 comma 3 plus 1 is called 4. What is the value of J now? It is called 1. Print J. 1 is printed. End some space. And it is going to this place, 1 next is called 2, j will be 2 and print that 2 here followed by some spacing. Going to this back, what is the value of j? It is called 3, that is called 1, 2, 4 means 3 and print the value called j here, that is a 3 printed with some spacing and going to this place back again, what is the value of j? 4 which is a false. Coming out of that, it is coming to the new line here, next part. It is going to the upper for loop, outer for loop. That is, J value is, I value is called 4. That is called coming to the fourth row, J value. What is this now? J, I is 4, I plus 1 is called 5. 4 plus 1. That is 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 5 means 1, 2, 4 elements. 5 minus 1 is printed. J value. It is going to be 1 now. 1 is printed. Followed by some space. Going to the inner for loop. That is called 2 here. Next to 2 is printed. Followed by some space. Going to this line again. It is called 3. J value is 3. Print the J value, followed by some spacing and going to this place, J value 4, print the 4 here and giving some space and then going to the for loop 5, it is becoming false. Inner for loop is becoming false. Coming out of that, bring the cursor to the new line, fifth line. Going to the outer for loop, what is the value of I? It is called 5. Coming to inner for loop, j in range of 5 plus 1 is called 6, 1 to 6. Well, and print this j value that is called j is 1 now, it is printed 1. And going back to this area, j value is called 2 here. Printing this 2 here, followed by some spacing. Going back to this j now, it is called 3. 3 is printed, space, and going back to this now, it is called 4, 4 is printed, spacing, going to this 5, j is 5, 5 is printed, giving some spacing, and going to this place, 6 is coming, it will be stopped, coming out of this, and it is coming to the next line. And going to the outer for loop, outer for loop is becoming false. 1, 2, 5 means it is called 1, 2, 6. Now it is becoming 6. 6 means it is coming out of it. Print of program execution over. Program execution over. Execution over. This indicates a simple pattern which is generated here. This I want to show you in the form of a program. Let us look at this implementation through the program. First, I will accept the n value here. Let us look into that. Int is equal to int of input of enter how many, how many rows. Enter how many rows. I will take number of rows is 5. For i in range of, for i in range of 1 comma n plus 1. Well, and I will write one inner for loop here for j, for j in range of 1 comma i plus 1, 1 comma i plus 1, so that it, we can start with 1 onwards. Print of 
print of j comma end is equal to some space and once this for loop is there bring back to the new line print off i am writing and i can say the execution is getting completed simple outer for loop deals with the number of rows and inner for loop deals with number of elements in the rows so here i am writing deals with rows deals with rows deals with uh, deals with uh, rows in deals with uh, elements in the rows elements in rows good let us run this code and see the output of it asking 5 it is going to print 1 to 5 see the output of it perfect let us run once again here I'll run this code again. It is going to print 6 I will enter 6 rows. Perfect output. Next you run once again. Now so 10. I'll say 10. 10 elements are printed very perfectly. And this is the one of the pattern to print the data in this format. And thank you for more videos. Subscribe and like Naresh IT channel.